Hi, I'm Jack Linton, co-host of For the People with my co-host Sandy Gravius. Today we're going to be talking to Ken, I can't pronounce his name, but I'm going to try it, Ken Safarowick, director of the Grady Reading Exposition Center. And Ken arrived here in July, and we've had some great shows. We've had uh, the gift show. There's a big show coming up very shortly, and a whole series of things to make Reading, I guess, it used to be the outlet center of the world. Pretty soon it's going to be called the exposition center of the world. Keep tuned for For the People. I'm Sandy Graff, he's controller of Berks County with my co-host, Jack Linton. Good, good who afternoon. A, who is a solicitor. Yes, I am. Name of our show, For the People. And today we have a really, really neat show. We have uh, Ken, and he's going to give you his last name. Safarowick. Safarowick, Safarowick. I can repeat really well, Safarowick. Sa Ken, question. Tell us about yourself before we even begin about who you are. Right now I am running the Greater Reading Expo Center, which is uh, a lot of people aren't aware, it just sprung up in the, in the last six months or so in what most people know around here to be the uh, gear building in its most recent incarnation. Hold it a minute. That was really neat the way you did that. Now, where did you live before you came to Berks? I still live in Montgomery County in Fort Washington. Wow! That gives you a chance to diffuse going home, doesn't it? Because you have like an hour and a half to drive to go home. Yeah, about an hour. The worst part of the trip, I can, I can get to King of Prussia in about 45 minutes, but that stretch between King of Prussia and Fort Washington is And Fort Washington is a bugger. It's a bugger. Yeah. Ken, tell us a little bit about, about your background. Go, where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? How'd you, how'd you get to be the director of the Greater Reading Exposition Center? Go, so bring us forward. I grew up, I was born in New York. Ah, whereabouts? I was born in the Bronx. I oh, grew thank up in goodness. Yonkers. Thank goodness because he's from over there and he I gets so excited. Manhattan. Okay. He yes, gets so excited. My hospital was torn down, though, after I was born. So was mine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, see, I thought I was the only one that got rejected by having the hospital worn down. <laughs> I want to tell you something. My hospital was not torn down, but that's because I was born in a house and oh. the house is still standing. So who cares? So, <laughs> okay, your hospital is torn down. Your hospital is torn down. Yes. You're in the Bronx. Yeah, so I grew up in Yonkers, and uh, big family. Uh, five, one of me, one brother, one sister, and a. Uh, well, that's uh, enough. Uh, yeah, so we uh, I went to just about every school in the New York metropolitan <laughs> region. I bounced around from different colleges. I eventually graduated from Columbia. You're kidding? No, no, I started. That's in, impressive. That's impressive. Uh, oh, I was yeah. probably the worst student in the history. You don't want to see my transcripts. Hey, once you get what, out. What degree did you get? English. Very uh, good. I was actually I started in life as a sports writer. And I was writing a newspaper guy for a few years, and I got tired of doing that, so I went into public relations and marketing. And one of you, my you're keeping that creative type stuff, though, don't you? Uh, yeah, you yeah, keep. You one keep, thing keep, leads to another. Yeah, I don't have much doing... of an attention span. Is what it comes <laughs> <to> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that was good, Ken. And, and how'd you and get? One of my clients. I was working for a company, a real estate developer. I was living in New York, and I came down. Uh, Montgomery County, the Seltzer organization, and eventually, well, my wife was from the area, and whenever, after a while, we realized we were going to get married, and we we're going to live in New York or Philadelphia, so we'll give Philly a shot, and I went into the real estate business. You're kidding. No. You no. do have a neat background, don't you? Yeah, and then what happened, I was working in sales for this commercial developer, and a client comes in one day, it was a head of one of the local trade associations, the Giftware Association in Philadelphia, and they're telling us the story about how there's a need for another exhibition center in the Philadelphia market, and they also wanted to put a showroom, a Giftware showroom in it. So I started working on that, and nothing panned out. This is the early 90s now, the real estate market crashed. Ruh row And I've got, two, I've got two babies at home, I've got to figure out something to do. So and was, when we come back, 
everybody's just going to hang in this thing, yeah. what you decided to do to support your two babies, yeah. living in the Philadelphia area with your wife, yeah. Sandy Graffy's Jack Linton for the people. Hi, my name is Ken Safarok. We're here at the Greater Reading Sport Travel and Outdoor Show at the Greater Reading Expo Center. Saturday morning, the show is doing very well. We're standing here at the window watching the cars stream in. I'm told that all the roads are jammed all around Reading. Uh, the building is packed. Ted Nugent is here. Eagles Hall of Famer Chuck Bednarik. Legendary Archer Byron Ferguson.